Good morning, everybody. This is Encounters, uh, the morning show here. Good morning, everybody, uh, and uh, welcome to our morning show. We weren't on late last night, uh, but we are on this morning. We'll be on uh, tonight, Friday night, for the late night. Good to have you with us on Encounters. And uh, you wouldn't know it, but we're in the spaceship meditation room, but we're not showing you that right now. So welcome to the show, and uh, we should have a good show this morning. We'll be on till, well, it's now 8.52. We'll be on till about uh, uh, 10 o'clock this morning here on the East Coast for one hour. Game time, uh, good to have you with us, Chris. Everybody coming in here. Johnny Miller, good morning. Uh, I've been crazy posting some really good uh, on my Facebook, and uh, I will post some of the videos on my YouTube channel, some new Astro Command Spaceship News videos, and right here on TikTok, uh, posting some new, I am Heather, good to see you, some new Really good uh, spaceship videos here. And we're drinking a little bit of cider. Felix Rising, 112, uh, good morning. Hi, everybody coming out there. And we are doing guest interviews this morning in uh, our one-hour broadcast. Tonight we'll be doing a two-hour broadcast or an hour-and-a-half broadcast. As usual, God Roth, good to have you, been, good to have you with us. I've been waiting for you. I have something amazing. Ah, so we're going to get uh, God's Roth to come on here and see what they're going to uh, talk to us about in terms of, uh, and before we go, get, get God's Roth on here, we just want to say good morning, El Beach. Good to have you with us. And again, people, just if you're new to the show, this is a, UFO, spiritual UFO show. Uh, I'm also host of WESU's Cosmic Eye radio show, Astro Command Radio, dedicated to our brothers and sisters off planet of the Astro Galactic Command. Been doing that for 20 years. I'm also a telepathic communicator with a uh, being within the Astro Command called Kadaramanka. Before there was any internet, I don't channel anything. Uh, it's direct communications telepathically. I'm also a contactee for new people coming in here. I've been a contactee, and my first contact was in the 1960s as a kid with people that looked just like us, men and women and children, in space uniforms that were kind of bluish, glittery, kind of uh, the way I remember it, and they just sent me a telepathic message, mind to mind, conscious to conscious, that I wasn't from Earth, and even though I have a biological family, I'm not from here, and I never forgot that message uh, when I was a little kid, and uh, I have taken that to heart ever since. When I've woken up, thank you for the heart. We appreciate that so much. And uh, thank you, God's Roth, for subscribing. We appreciate that. Uh, and um, yes, yes, we do know Robert. Absolutely. We're very good friends with Robert. And El Beach, thank you for the heart as well. Uh, and all the gifting going on here, we appreciate it. I am Heather. Thank you uh, for uh, the tiny Dini. I think it is, or Dini or Dini. Uh, thank you for that. The dinosaur, yeah. Uh, thank you for all the little gifts that are coming in right now. And um, uh, Dennis, uh, good to see you. Welcome to the show, Dennis. Everybody coming in here. This is the morning edition uh, in the meditation room, which uh, I was going to show you the meditation room, but uh, I decided to go do it this way this morning. But there'll be other times and you'll see all the crystals here. Scott Hammonds, thanks for the likes. Everybody keep tapping. I want everyone to tap those buttons, get us up to whatever we're going to get to before 10 o'clock today, and then tonight we'll be on again for the late night show of Encounters. Uh, thank you for everybody joining us for the first time. Star Cosmos, thanks for the likes. Um, and a lot of stuff is going on. I've been watching and looking at the new uh, UFO site of the DOD uh, on the Department of Defense, and it's interesting trying to break down the charts. And they say the most uh, interesting thing is that the most sightings that the military has had is of a, a spheres or round uh, type of uh, round objects, uh, which is, uh, you know, really amazing. And they're saying that they're mostly round objects they've been seeing, these balls or large round objects. Uh, so at least that's what they're getting from internally from their air pilots and everybody else uh, within the DOD, people in the Air Force and other things. And they're also saying, for people that missed it, according to their charts, they're saying that a certain area of Japan 
and certain parts of the United States are hot spots for these activities. Now, personally, I'm not sure how they compile that. I think that there are hot spots happening all over the world. You know, um, I think it's way bigger than what they're showing on their charts. I don't know how they come statistically to a conclusion of what is a hot spot. I mean, how many people have they interviewed <clears throat> around the country publicly knocked on doors and said, hey, did you have a sighting uh, in this town, in this state? I think uh, if they really want to get an accurate reading, they should really be doing going out there, talking to people in different places around the world and finding out what's going on. Uh, Dennis says, the TRB flew uh, by my house in 2021. Interesting, Dennis. <clears throat> and, you know, the thing is with the TRB, uh, there's a mixture of things with that. Some of those TRBs are reverse engineered, uh, which you, you'll know right away if it's reverse engineered and if it's, if it's technically ours. Some of those triangular uh, objects are not. Some of them are extraterrestrial, are non-terrestrial. <laughs> And you'll know that by what happens when you see them versus one of ours. So there's a mixture there. Uh, so interesting. And welcome, everybody, to the show. Um, we're going to talk to people here today. Uh, we're going to be on until 10 o'clock today. Uh, it's the triangle one, but it was 200 meters out. Interesting, Dennis, 200 meters out. And a lot of people have had those kind of sightings. You know, some people have seen triangular craft that are not Ours, that would be um, not from this planet, and they operate in totally different mannerisms than the ones that are ours. Uh, let's see. Uh, and we're going to bring uh, some people on here. I think God's Roth wants to come on and share some stories with us. So we're going to bring God's Roth on to share possibly some stories. If anybody else has any visitation stories, any sightings that are happening, and you have over a thousand followers, or if you're close to a thousand, we can get you on on the audio side. Evidently, on TikTok, things have changed a little bit. So, if you're not at a thousand, depending where you are, we can put you on here if you have a story to share on our show. I'm Commander Alian, the man from Mars, also with the Astro Galactic Command, host again for new people of WESU's Cosmic Eye Radio. We're here this morning with you. And I have one of our crystals here in the crystal room that you can actually see. This is a Lemurian crystal I'm holding here. I've got a lot of crystals in this room, quite a bit. So I just wanted to show you that for a moment. A lot of high energy amped up here. We amp up everything in the meditation room, space room. Uh, always, always, always. A lot of selenite, all kinds of stuff going on in here. Um, so welcome to the show. And uh, things are starting to happen. I think we're going to start seeing some more hearings out of uh, Washington and more people being uh, pressed to come forward. I think more people in different intelligence agencies uh, within the different areas of the DOD will be coming forward. I just get that feeling that we're uh, actually going to be uh, getting these people that are going to be courageous enough to say, hey, I know some information. I'm going to speak before Congress to this committee. Uh, I hear that David Grush is going to be coming back, and he's uh, going to come forward now and share more additional information than he did with Congress in this com in this committee on the UAPs. So a lot of stuff is happening. J9 Ear says, very busy near me. Uh, and user 707 says, so excited. How do we expand ourselves in the meantime to be open to these experiences? By using the C5 app, uh, the one that's on uh, Google uh, Play, if you have an Android phone, Get trained, train yourself how to use it. The uh, C5 app is really a good way to do that. That's how you can train yourselves. If you have Apple uh, iPhones, use the Apple download for the C5 app from Dr. Stephen Greer. Everybody should have it. I keep always saying, you know, put some money aside or whatever. Get the app. It's a one-time charge. Um, and just understand the protocol. Uh, listen to the audio of the meditation that he uh, presents and uh, the tones that are used to bring in that vibrational frequency to bring in uh, those uh, ships. Yeah, so everyone should get the uh, the C5 app, everybody out there watching this show. If you want to be in charge of contact yourself, that app will help you be a leader 
in a humble way of presenting yourself with maybe some people that you feel would be open to it. And you have to find friends that you think would be open to doing this who are not afraid because they won't come if there's fear. So you want to bring people together and download the app, understand the protocol. And I believe everybody on here will have uh, the ability to have visual contact with our star family. Everybody. It's not just, it's not exclusive. It's inclusive. That's what that app's for, to include the whole planet to do this. So I'm I'm big, I'm a big proponent of everybody uh, doing this on your own, doing it with some friends. Don't be afraid to do it and make visual contact, which might lead to a small ship landing in a field somewhere where you are and making physical contact with our star family. How would that be? Everybody else can do this. You know, the DOD has their website out. The reason why they came up with a UFO committee internally and uh, a director for that is because the pressure's on them. After, you know, 70 years, people are fed up all over the planet. People are saying things. They know people are videotaping it. They're, they're taping it, putting it on Twitter. They're putting it on YouTube. They're putting them on here on TikTok. I mean, obviously, I'm putting a lot of video footage on. Other people are, too. Uh, people here are in my, in my audience have videotaped uh, UAPs or UFOs or spaceships. Uh, I've had guests on who've explained their stories. So how could the DOD sit back and while everyone else in the planet's getting ahead of them, they're just covering up and lying their t- through their teeth for the last 70 years? You know, these old fogies that have been in control of the thing are now under pressure from a younger generation within the intelligence community, and the younger generation wants disclosure. They're not the same people as the older generation. They want disclosure. We want disclosure. This show is about disclosure, about spiritual uh, cosmic awakening, about sharing who you are, about coming out of the closet and saying, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm tired of just keeping myself um, you know, in the closet, that I am definitely uh, from another planet. I've known this all my life. I never told my parents. I never told my friends. I was afraid to talk to anybody. Do you know that on this show... Most of the people that have come forward did it for the first time in their lives on this show. You know why? Because we respect every single individual out there that comes on this show. That's the difference between me and those big TV commercial stations that make jokes of people. We don't do that here. You know? So we're going to invite people on here. And since we're only on until 10 this morning... I'm going to bring some people on, and I want to welcome everybody to the show. Please uh, tap those things. Everybody, we have 80 people on here. Everybody tap the like thing, the like button. We want to get uh, as many likes as we can because in an hour, we don't know how many likes we can get. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Uh, We're 43 of 100. We're trying to get up to 100 regular subscribers. Also, I'm asking people to go to my Vemno account. Go to Commander Allion 2022. Uh, go to the link on my Commander Alley on 2022 in the next hour. If you have the uh, abundance, donate whatever you want on my Venmo, Venmo uh, account. Uh, you can go there now, still watch the show. Uh, Commander Alley on 2022, and then my link is right there. Press the link and just make your donation, whatever it is, whatever you feel you can afford to do. And uh, again, gifting is also the third thing. Uh, before the end of the show, I hope that some people that have, again, the abundance that that have been given to them to donate um, either a galaxy or one of those things or a whale or whatever you want to call it uh, during the show. So uh, I agree to uh, make sure that all happens here. And again, thank you, uh, Spirit, for joining us, all the new people coming in here. I'm going to have my first guest interview with God's Roth. We want to see what they have to say. And again, we never know what people are going to talk about. But it should be, when you're coming on here, related to the topic. I don't want to go off topic talking about something unrelated. You know, um, you know there's places where unrelated things happen. This is Encounters. It's a spiritual UFO talk show. We want to hear about your UFO sightings, ET's visitations, and we'll talk about disclosure. Those are the three real main topics on our planet. Of course, visitations, of course, contact, visitations, what people are having, sightings all over the world happening. Uh, you know, um, certainly uh, the disclosure thing is on the forefront of the media, not always on the mainstream media, 
but it is on the forefront of what's going on here. So we're going to bring God's Roth on. And they'll be our first guest in this one-hour show. God's Roth, welcome to Encounters, the one-hour edition. And rising to all. So God's Roth, all right. what's I have, happening? Go ahead. I have, I have photos. I have even showed Robert. Um, I'm going to make it kind of like brief. Uh, I'll give you a roundup. Yeah. I've lost my family all to cancer. I've become a servant of the Lord. But I also am an open-minded Christian, and my pastor may not agree with me totally, and that's okay. We, we're still really good friends, and he understands because we both, he realized I'm, we're both really on the same path. Yeah. All right. I don't know if you guys are going to be ready for this, but I do have proof. The okay, ships are in the clouds. Ships are in the clouds. Time. Yes, I seen something back in '85. It was all over the news. Mm-hmm. And I have this. And I have this. Like when I go outside now, I feel like you call oh God. I mean, it's it's a alien. I don't know. It's I'm very confused right now, Commander, because I I got a lot of high energy and I can feel the energy in here. But I oh, want to yeah. show. I have a photo that I want to show you. I'm yeah, going to put it on the, the screen. Photo, I think, yeah, well, we definitely want to see the photo, and I'll help deconfuse you. Oh, well, yes, it's – bear with me. Yeah, take your time. I know it, people have to show photos. you got to do a lot of TikTok technical stuff here. So, And God, I want to start with this. So. Yeah. And you're watching Encounters like God Roth is getting his photo uh, ready for us. This is Encounters, the morning edition. I'm your host, Commander Alion, host of WESU's Cosmic Eye Ash Parker Man Radio, here to bust the matrix. Oh, look at that picture. Now, could you explain that? Or is that not the picture? We got the picture, but no audio. I wish I could. What you were seeing is what you guys would call you would call an alien gray. If you look at the picture as a whole, yeah. We don't, well, oh, you we can't don't hear me. We use all right. Zeta. It's a, a all right. Zeta what picture. you're seeing is it a whole the whole picture as a whole is an alien mm-hmm. is an alien gray. Right. Well, we, well, use the word, we try not to. Use I like the word to alien. call him a gray. I like to call him a gray. Okay, that's what I call him. Where, where did they Where did you get the where did, how did you get the picture? Did you? Did you take the picture? All right, I'll explain this. I use I use mirrors. I'm gonna show you. I have mirror pictures of things. Mm-hmm. Even Robert was amazed. He loves my photos. Yeah. There's yeah. symbols and stuff in there, and there's hieroglyphics. If you really look, like I have stuff I've seen out of from Egypt and other cultures. Mm-hmm. I've come to realize, Commander, religion does play a base, but it's not. And I don't even want to say this. Really, see, it's not supposed to be religion. I realize this is all about love and light and spreading, you know what I mean, a balance of the universe. This is what my come to a realization is, and I'm willing to accept yeah. this. I feel them calling me. I thought I was crazy, but I know I'm not. Because I have these pictures, and I found many people are, there's many people out there like me. I've been awakened in 2020 when the planets were aligned. I am a Sagittarius. According mm-hmm. to the Mayans, I just did some research on it. The Sagittarius is the bridger between heaven and earth. I hmm. lost my mother. I went to Christ that same year. This is not a coincidence. Now I, I don't believe it's a coincidence. I got to ask some Absolutely. questions, man, because th- that's what we do on this show. I'm intrigued by the photo, so I'm going to ask you some questions. The photo, yes. the image, this image is coming through with the mirror, correct? This is not. This one happens to be a non-mirror. Non-mirror. Okay. Where was this? Where? Okay. So I want to know for our audience, where? How? Where did you see this? I took this picture. It was in a regular cloud picture. You wouldn't even tell. It wasn't even there. And I used color you, filters. All my pictures are taken along the Pennsylvania and New York border because I live in a town called Bolivar. And on my way to church or on my way to a doctor's because I've been. I was very sick with a stomach problem disease. Yeah. That's what I lost my family to. But the doctors mm-hmm. just called me and said they think it's my heart because my pulse drops to 30 when I'm asleep. Mm-hmm. And sometimes when I'm even awake. So they want to put in a pacemaker. I just got this phone call yesterday. 
But okay. when I started getting sick, Commander, when I started getting sick, Commander, is when I when and when I went to Christ, my conscious, we'll call it Christ conscious, because I don't like to use the word church. Yeah, we call it Christ um, consciousness, which has nothing to do with religion. Cosmic Christ consciousness. Right, and that's why people always say because when people say, "Oh, you're a Christian," and I don't like to say, "I'm no, no, I'm not." They get mistaken. You can tell them. You, you tell them that you're a Christ consciousness, a cosmic Christ consciousness. That's what you say. There we go. That's so, what I like. You. Yes. All right. Now you want to. I have another photo. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to be the only one drowning your life here. If you want to see another right, photo, I'm willing to show right. it. Yeah, I'm, and as you show me the photos, I'm gonna obviously. I always do this because of my background. I will ask questions. So that's a really interesting photo. What's your next photo that you want to show us? Good morning, Heidi. Good morning, everybody coming on here. And I have various guests, and everyone shares what they have. So this is very interesting. So, uh, so this is another photo. Can you explain this? Now that's bear. Yeah, you're breaking up. I think it's TikTok. Can you explain the photo? All right. There's like beans in there. Yeah, you can see. In the middle, there's beans mm -hmm. in the center. But uh, I can't blow it up. You'd have to blow it up. And the pixels of how is it doing? You can't. Yes. Is this coming through the mirror? Yes, I have, like I said, and oh, I did an AI. I want to show you something. I did an AI of a photo. Good morning, Kevin. Good to see you, Kevin. Welcome. Yes. This is, a, yeah, El Beach. It's a mirror photo, he's saying, yeah. No, it's and mirror app. Oh, okay. And is that? And where now that's an AI image you see in the center look in the middle you see the blue you, you see the blue you see the blue the being in the middle below the light that you're talking no about, right? this what I, I was gonna pull out my AI image I'll, I'll do that one next I was trying to find the photo first and then I was gonna show you the AI. yes you see it right it looks like a plane almost right it look to me that looks like a blue soul being beamed down. Oh, from a ship. Or beamed up. Yeah, yeah the blue the To me. The, the, Everybody the might get a different perception. Above, right? Of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, people see it. Correct. Interesting. Yeah, I can give you my perceptions of that. I get now as I'm watching. Now I'm going to show you an AI picture that I did yeah, don't move it yet. of a don't photo. Move the picture yet. Slow down a little bit. I was. I yeah. did actually well, did me, this me, morning. Me, I was curious. That picture. So I got to slow you down just a minute. The picture before that you just showed. I get oh, a, a beam. Sorry. A beam of a beam from a ship, and a, a woman. In I see an image of a woman. I'll go back. Beam down and brought up. Yeah, with AI, that's a different thing. With AI, I still have some uh, you know, questions about that. You know, with everything else, that when people have visitations, now this is what AI gave. They... Oh. Right, but really with AI, I still have to put that on my little box there because everything else, definitely the real stuff. The AI is you know, artificial intelligence generated. So I don't look at that yet as being, well, for me, it's about contact. You know, when I was a kid and, and seeing people on board a spaceship, that was real. AI is a computer generated thing. So the other two pictures, you know, where you're having these images happen, that I can say, wow, but AI, I want to be careful with people that AI is not the way we're having contact with space beings. Now this picture, can you describe where this came from? Everything I'm showing you was just, it was originally just an original picture of a sky, just in my area with clouds. So your picture, your picture, and obviously picture, I can't do it when it's just a blue sky. There's got to be some kind of texture in the background. Right. So let me, so God's Roth, you were taking Yes, pictures. I do this daily, Commander. Yeah, I'm just asking you. You were taking pictures of the sky, and this is what you got in the images from taking the pictures. Correct from mirror, correct? from using mirror 
and just my color. Yes, and using the color saturations on my phone. Correct. Okay. I just want to get it. On a Zone 14 Android. Anybody can do this. Interesting. Well, I have thousands of photos all over my TikTok. Wow. I have hundreds wow. of videos. It brings a different perspective, God's Roth, to the whole realm of the cosmic realm by seeing something like this. If you look at the very, very top of that photo, it's right. an entity. Right. And he's right. Anybody could do this. Absolutely. We have to be awakened and alert and aware. Our Christ consciousness has to be open and unlocked to see this. And this is what I might do. This is my job. This is what I feel like I need to do. I don't charge people or nothing. They want advice when they show me a picture. I usually tag them there. It's for free. I don't want nothing. This is not for that. I'm not here to make money. Well, I'm, I'm here for a different reason. Right. Well, I'm glad you're sharing this, you know, because you obviously have some interesting things to share and you're part of the whole cosmic awakening experience everybody has their mission you know you found your mission you know i can see that looking at what you're doing and you're dedicated to what you're doing and i can see that you love what you're doing and uh yeah so that's in church that's this it. is all i do commander and mm -hmm. fish fishing church and pictures that's my yeah. life well you know my goal is to bust everybody out of religion eventually where there's no religion except the religion of love and that's why there I you go Exactly. Yeah. But I have many more photos, but that could be another time where people can feel free to look. I want to give yeah. somebody else what, some what, time to go. What, 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 is your page? what is your page if they want to go look at the pictures? You can find me on even Instagram. I'm under the same name, God's Wrath 111. Okay. All right. So if people want to see more of what he's doing in his cosmic spiritual work, you can go and check them out. And you have on your TikTok uh, page, you have photos there too? I have photos even on my uh, on my Facebook. You can follow on me at Facebook. Frank William Parker. Yeah, Frank William Parker. And you'll see this picture right. of, uh, you'll see my, you'll, you can tell when you see the, when you see my uh, avatar, you'll know it's me. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much, man, for uh, coming on here and sharing some of what you're doing. You know, it's, uh, it gives a different perspective. Everyone's doing something here on the planet to awaken people, and that's definitely different from things I've seen. And I appreciate you coming on here and sharing some of that, you know? Are you still there, Frank? Thank you. Thank you very much for allowing me. I, I've been wanting to share this so badly. Yes, I'm, I'm, glad, glad, I'm glad I finally got to get you. But, yes, I, I'm going to get off and let somebody else on. I appreciate it, man. We love you, and uh, keep on keeping on doing what you're doing. And that's Frank God's Roth is his TikTok name, and that's some of the things he's doing. But I never knew he was doing this. But uh, this is why this because people come on here and share things, and it's all part of a galactic puzzle. That's what I love. About it. You know, I never judge anybody here on this show. Uh, everyone has great information to share. And we learn a lot from everybody and from each other. That's why this show is the way it is, you know, and being in what I've been doing as a contactee since the 60s and being directly out of the closet coming from Mars, I've learned a great deal of, you know, you have to be able to be inclusive with everybody, especially if you come out of the closet and say you're from Mars. I mean, that's a big step for anybody, right? Or if you say you come from uh, the Arcturian area or you come from Venus or wherever you come from, you say, as a human being, I'm not from here. That's a big leap. And for him to come out here and show this, that's another big leap. But you can tell he really is, he doesn't care about what people think. He's going to show what he's going to show. And I think it's a beautiful thing, uh, you know, that he's doing the work he's doing. So we thank you, man, for coming on here and sharing that. And if you want to be a guest on the show and you have something to share on encounters, let's discuss disclosure, UFO sightings, your visitations. I know a lot of people, a lot of my guests over the months and months and months I've been on here totally have had contact experiences, visitations with people from other planets, and it's happening. The DOD is not talking about that. I would, I know for a fact that the Department of Defense, again, like I said earlier, 
is detaining non-terrestrial beings at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base and other facilities uh, that they control that are multi-level facilities, and they're not letting these, uh, these people, these beings, go and leave the planet. They're containing them, you know. Steve says, I'm just listening, and I'm new. I'm 64 until the testimony of, of Grush. I was an atheist. Interesting, Steve. Uh, Christian Dell says, mine are still happening in dream state, mostly light beings. And dream state is really important. And uh, we're going to actually, Kristen, bring you on to share about your dream. I call it the cosmic reality, the dream state when you're interacting with light beings in the dream state. It's not a dream. You're basically in the sleeping state. You go out of your physical body, and that's where you meet them. So, Kristen, if you wish to come on here, I'd like to hear your story about the light beings. See, this is what we do here. You know, we don't have any judgments here. We know that there's many ways that our space brothers and sisters are making contact. And a lot of people are having contact in the dream state. I bet many of you in your dreams are having cosmic dreams or cosmic realities where you're meeting your space family, your star family through the dream state. Uh, Brian says, I lost 13 cows, three dogs, countless chickens, and it's at my, and ate my sweet corn. Uh, interesting, Brian. So that sounds like that could be either government operations or maybe not. It could be one or the other, it sounds like, Brian. I'm sorry that happened to you too, man. Out of this world, atheists don't have any real motivation to live, but make no mistake, God is real. And I want to get away from religion on here. I want, I'm just going to say right now, no religion. This is uh, encounters. Again, disclosure, UFO sightings, and ET visitations. Um... I have those dreams as well, visits since I was four. So many people are having experiences for a short me. Uh, interesting. <coughs> Jupiter, thank you for the, for the gifts. We appreciate it. And uh, I will remind people we have uh, 43, 43 subscribers right now on Encounters or on, uh, for Commander Alley on 2022. Please subscribe, be number 44, 45. You can subscribe once a month. You can subscribe whenever you wish to subscribe. Uh, that's fine. Thanks, Victoria, for joining us. You're watching the morning edition till 10 o'clock. And uh, I'm your host, uh, Commander Alion. Maybe 10.15. We'll stay on to 10.15. I think we will. Uh, now we're in 15 minutes. Um, Kristen, thank you for, for the gifting. You know, I got to say, I love all the new people that come in here to the show. I love all the regular people that watch a show around the world, whether you're in Europe, the United States, wherever. You're all welcome here. Excuse me. You're very inclusive, but not all these people are sane. Uh, we don't make any judgment calls here. Um, we just don't do that. You know, I can't let you say that here. Um, you know, I think what is not sane is a planet where people create nuclear weapons and bombs and blow up countries and uh, create wars. That's not sane. I think that's not sane is when people on Earth judge other people for coming out of the closet and being who they are. That's not sane. I think it's not sane when you make a comment like that, calling yourself a professor. You're not a professor. A professor is someone who would be inclusive. If you're a teacher, then you have to be inclusive. If I were a professor and a student said they were from some other planet, I would not say, oh, you're insane. No. We include people on this show. You're right. I am inclusive. And I don't judge people for who they are. Because where I come from, there is no judgment. When I came to this planet, there is no judgment. On this planet, there are people like you who are judging people and saying they're insane without really knowing them. But the insanity is... Look at your planet Earth. Look at the things you've done to the planet Mother Earth. Look at the wars you've created. Look at the pollution of our oceans. Look at the things you've done. Insane? You want to talk about insane on encounters from a non-terrestrial being in human form who comes from Mars? You want to talk about insane? We'll talk about insane. People killing each other. People destroying the planet. People not caring about each other. You want to talk about insane. 
you're talking also to a person that's not from this earth. So that hits me. Insane? This planet had been quarantined for a long time because of all the conflicts, all the battles, all the wars. Insane. Take a deep breath, Professor. Listen to what you said publicly in your comment. Listen to it in your mind. You're guided here by your higher spirit, but your mind said some of the people here are insane. But you were guided here by a higher spirit. You have a higher spirit. I muted you, and I'm actually talking to you. When you go through your day today, I want you to meditate and think about what you said. Because if you are a professor or a teacher, maybe you are, maybe you aren't, look at the world around you and tell me what is really insane. That's all I'm going to say. This is coming from my consciousness within the Astro Galactic Command representing other planetary systems. See, I am a multi-conscious being. I'm a cosmic book. I don't read websites. I'll say this again for new people. I don't care about who channels what. I don't care what religion a person is, whether you're a scientist or not. I don't care what your prestigious position is in the, in the university. I don't care. It's meaningless. The only thing I care about is breaking the matrix. And that means taking your mind and all your 3D belief systems about other people and taking that and breaking it. And if I can do that, that's the first step to us coming to a common ground. So I will never allow on this show people to call people insane. You'll be muted. I'll let you watch the broadcast, but you're not going to speak and call people insane. And that's my editorial cosmic comment here. And with that said, we'd like to invite more people to come on and speak. If you have a story to share, an encounter, a visitation, we'd love to have you speak. Just tell me what you want to talk about related to the show, and we'd love to have you participate. I'm Commander Alian for the new people. I'm on here. I've been on radio for over 20 years doing a show called Cosmic Eye Astro Command Radio on NPR Pacifica Radio. So I'm well-versed in the broadcasting field. Uh, I'm like a cosmic book for new people here. I'm with the Astro Galactic Command before there was Internet or websites. I've been always working with them. And when I listen to people's stories here, I sometimes give them information about what's going on within that realm with their connections with the certain non-terrestrial beings. So if you'd like to be a guest, we'd love to have you. Please tap the button. We're at 15,000 likes, 15,500. Let's get everybody sharing, getting more people to come in here this morning. Uh, thank you, Ray Ray, for joining us. Can you tell us the story while we wait? Yes, I can tell you my story for new people. So I work with the Ashtar Galactic Command. Besides doing radio and besides doing the, this TV show, I am not from here. Okay? And I don't care. I tell people right off the bat, I don't care what you think. I'm from Mars. I came from the planet Mars, which you know in this solar system called Mars. And all the misinformation about Mars. On Mars, for those that don't know it, there's 10 to 15 million inhabitants on the planet. And I have news for the DOD and NASA. Breaking news, you'll not be able to colonize the planet Mars. Nor should you be able to try to colonize any planet in the solar system. How many people know in this solar system that there's life on mostly every planet in the solar system? How many people understand that? You've been taught to believe there is no life other than on Earth and that we're looking for possible signs of life on all the other planets in our solar system. Right? So Earth is created with life, and we're looking for life beyond Earth. Earth is the center of the life. This is always what I find funny. Earth is the center of life, and there's no possible life, but there could be maybe an amoeba, 
maybe some sort of organism on a planet we can find that we can bring a satellite to or some rove, land rover going on a planet and we can maybe take some specimens of the, the soil. Maybe we can find some possibility that there might be life that can form there. That's the way these people in NASA and the scientists think, right? So let's go, let's go ripping right for it, folks. Let's go right for it. I'm going to go right for it here. All the planets in our solar system, for those of you who have been taught that Earth is the place where there's life and there might be some life that was on Mars or there might be some life that was on Jupiter or on Saturn or whatever other planets, I'm fired up now. That there might be life on these other planets, but we don't know that there is life, but we hope there's Earth-like planets out there in the universe. Are you kidding me? You hope that there's Earth-like planets or planets with life in the universe. Really. Now, I'm not speaking to necessarily people in this room, but I'm speaking to those people that do believe that whole thing, or these scientists that believe that, they get paid big money, that maybe there might be a microorganism on another planet we found in a galaxy away from Earth. There might just be a microorganism. Okay? So what I'm saying here, folks, You've been lied to on many, many levels. You've been lied to by the Department of Defense about the whole aspect of what they know. You've been lied to by space scientists that say we're trying to find life. You've been lied to by NASA, the space agency, and all the space agencies. You've been lied to to keep you from knowing the truth. Because I guarantee you, NASA knows that there's life in our solar system that is intelligent life. I guarantee you they know that. They can play all the dumb stuff they want, but I guarantee you, NASA knows this. I don't need any documents that they have hidden somewhere. You know, I read everything like a book. They're lying through their teeth. They never, never talk about, you know, they have the Land Rover on Mars. And undocumented photos that are brought back and transmitted show that there are pictures of what I remember one of a woman laying on a rock. It wasn't a rock it was a woman another picture of a human like a man walking on the surface of mars okay and then there are people that are disinformation agents that say no that's not a man that's not a woman all of a sudden you have these disinformation people on the social media they're probably paid by the government to tell you that you know confuse you but the truth is not only is there life on mars intelligent life on mars there's life on every single planet in our solar system Forget your perceptions of reality, folks. Man, I'm fired up now. Forget your perceptions of what you've been taught in science and astronomy and all these other classes you took in high school and whatever decade you took them because they've been textbook lies. Textbook lies, right? Yeah, that's right. You know the picture I'm talking about. They claim it was a rock. It wasn't a rock. It was a physical person. This is... The disinformation agents got paid to go on the social media and say, no, that's not, that's not, a, that's a rock. That's a rock, you know. And there are people gullible enough on our planet to say, oh, yeah, that's a rock. That's not a person. Thank you for telling me, NASA, that's a rock. <laughs> you know, we live in a very interesting place right now. The question is, where are we going to that place? Uh, yes, contacting to you through conscious successful projection. Uh, 581U281, yes, we'll definitely get into that. And 581U281, have you had any C5 events or C5 activity where you are? Have you done anything C5? Uh, we definitely will get into some of that. But I got to finish my uh, my thoughts here. Uh, far short me, why are some of us taking and others not? I think some people are contacted and, and you know, in a very beautiful way, taken on a ship somewhere or through the dream state they're taken uh, in that reality because they're fully ready for it. Other people might not be taken because they just haven't uh, focused on being uh, not taken. It's not so much being taken. It's about uh, having a contact experience that is equally agreeable between the star people and yourself. So how does that happen? 
to have that experience, you have to allow yourself to be focused. You know, it's not so much, you know, when are you going to come and take me on your ship to the, your planet or whatever? It's really about us um, being centered to make that physical contact. It's really important to be centered. So it's a great question. If people are not centered and clear their 3D mind of all their thoughts and fears and everything else, you have to have complete consciousness of being positive, no fear, no nervousness, and say, I'm ready. And say, I call on you, my space brothers and sisters, within the cosmic Christed levels of consciousness, I am ready to make contact with you. I have no fear. I, I will tell you this, that if you do come in contact with me, I would love to get to know you. So just like you get to know a stranger from another country, now you're going to get to know somebody from another planet that is a star being that you're connected with. That's a great question. Um, you know, so I would say if you've not been contacted yet, it doesn't mean that you'll never will be. There's a lot of people have not been physically contacted in either the dream state or the reality state of where you live in your home or whatever. You can make that happen. So people need to be willing to make that step forward in order to have that contact. So if you understand what I'm saying is center, use a meditation music on your Alexa app or something, sit down, focus, even on some YouTube videos, there are ambient meditation videos you can use, and meditate and ask for your star family to make contact with you. Everyone has a star family, right? So when you ask for that connection, you will have that contact eventually. All you have to do is be the initiator to make that happen. Uh, 581 says, I had a crazy dream of my body flying through space, going vast distances almost instantaneously. You probably did do that. You know, it wasn't a dream. You probably actually had that happen. Your mind's going to say it's a dream. But interestingly enough, um, 581, you probably did experience that. Uh, Five Short says, my daughter and son as well. I love this. Let's see here. 581, yeah, you, know, you don't have to be. When you're traveling like that, there is no spaceship. You're just traveling in your Merkaba state, and you are the ship in the Merkaba state. If no one knows what a Merkaba is, uh, it's when you go, when I teach my classes, I take people out of their bodies to the large ship as big as the Earth. They go into a Merkaba state, and they are their consciousness creates a ship, a living ship, where they travel out of their body into space. It's called a Merkaba. For those that don't know what that word means or what that word is. Monica, welcome to our show. Uh, welcome all the new people coming in here. Chase K, welcome to Encounters. Ice Cube, welcome. It is. It's an amazing feeling. Very much so. Eddie, welcome. Uh, Zap59, welcome. Magdalino, I uh, can see Carl, welcome to our show. Big T, good morning, everybody coming in. Greg12. 12 what, H, I think it is. Noah eats ants. Interesting. Paul Murphy. I didn't know Noah eats ants, but that's interesting. User, welcome to the show. Someone named User. Queen, well, thank you for the likes. Please, uh, well, you know, come in here and join us on Encounters. This is the morning edition. We're usually late night. We'll be on tonight at about 11 o'clock in, in the morning, 11 o'clock in the evening. <laughs> it feels like I'm not used to doing morning shows, but uh, we're glad to have you. We're live actually at night. We're trying to do morning shows. But mostly people, we get a lot of people in on our nighttime show about 1030. Usually after 11 o'clock at night we're on, and we usually do about an hour and a half, two-hour show. Uh, but we're here in the morning, so it's glad, you know, glad to meet all the new people coming in here. Uh, if you're not used to this show, this show is a talk show uh, about – the whole subject of, U of UFOs, ET sightings, uh, visitations, disclosure. So we cover it all here. Uh, Rita, good to have you with us. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I want to just remind people, we love to have your support. Become a subscriber. If you get a subscribe button popping up when you come in here, subscribe. 
uh, be number 44 or 45 as you get used to the show. Then, uh, of course, say, oh, you know, I like this show. I'm here. I'm, I'm coming on here. I think I will subscribe. Also, go to my Vemno, uh, my cash app. Uh, you can donate there under Command Ion 2022. You'll see the link to it. I'm in bed, uh, Rod says, at 11 p.m. Okay, Rod. Well, I'm glad you're here this morning. So we're trying to help, uh, you know, our morning people that are not up late at night. So we'll try to do some morning shows here. We appreciate you being here. Dee, uh, thanks for coming in here. Also, please tap the button there. Uh, we want to get everyone to tap that button. Please share. Let people know about encounters. This is the only social media on social media that we're doing this live TV show. I don't do it on Facebook. I don't do it on YouTube. I do have a YouTube channel. All the shows are recorded, so if you missed the show and you're not able to watch us at night, the nighttime shows are put on YouTube on my channel, Ashtar Command Spaceship News. Uh, you'll see all the shows for the past couple of days or nights on there. Uh, Little Crow says, I'm in Western North Carolina. I'm pretty sure I saw a UFO about nine months ago, about a month ago. It moved slowly and was uh, silent. Interesting. We're going to follow you there. Well, Little Crow, uh, take your profile off of private so I can follow you. Because it's on private, I can't follow you, and then we can follow each other. And let's help Little Crow get up to 1,000 followers. Uh, we'd like to follow you. So on your TikTok, go off private into public, and I'll be able to follow you as one, one of your followers, or you can follow me, and then I can follow you. Okay? Is the moon a spaceship? So, Carl, I'd love to answer that question. I'm going to be very direct. The moon is an artificial structure. Uh, it's not a solid rock. It is an actual interplanetary base that was put here a long, long time ago, brought here way, way beyond our uh, specific solar system and our galaxy. And it was put in that place uh, by a group of uh, galactic levels so to speak. So that moon is not really a, a, a like a solid rock. And I've talked about this before, so I'm glad you asked the question. It is really a base. Inside that moon is a, a multi-level base for intergalactic civilizations that come there. And this is not something you're going to be taught uh, here on Earth or you're going to hear from NASA because they already know that. NASA will just lie about it. And uh, that's why you see people, astronomers who are interested in the subject, have seen flying saucers or craft coming out, out of the moon, leaving the moon's surface. And in multiple decades, this has been recorded. Because the moon is an interstellar base that was put there millions upon millions of years ago. So I love the question. Thank you so much for the question, Carl. It was a good one. I hope that answers your question. I'm very direct with my answers. I don't read any websites or go on anybody's agendas or whatever. My information is direct, so I share what I know. Uh, and I'm glad, again, that you asked that question. Uh, please, uh, we always, uh, for those people that have the abundance to share some galaxies, this show uh, certainly uh, shows some love for what we do for the, you know, since we've been on the TikTok since last year. The show, we started doing this probably into last year, a little bit more. We found a more defined area that there was no UFO talk show on here, and we needed to create it, uh, and we, we have. So it's nice to have everybody here. And again, we uh, if you can gift us right now, we're going to take a gifting break for about a minute or two. So those that have those what they call TikTok coins or whatever they are, if you have a lot of them sitting there in your TikTok bank, uh, please show us some gifting. Steve, thanks for the uh, roses. Uh, we'll give people a few minutes to do gifting here. And a lot of people like to do it this way. Uh, any galaxies, solar systems, or whatever, some of you who know what those gifts are, if you can throw some of that stuff this way, uh, we'd like to see that uh, as well on the show. So before we go off at 10, 10 15, we're staying on until 10 15. I want to see at least one or two galaxies. Um, so I'm putting it out there now so you don't know, have not forgotten what the, you know, what we want you to do. Dennis, thank you for the roses. We love all the roses. And uh, we're going to see, oh, there we go. There we go. Some lightning at the hands. Uh, thank you so much for the lightning of the superpower, Taria. Thank you so much. Terry, thanks for joining us. 
um, all the people coming here. So we're going to let people do some gifting here, and I'm just going to take another sip of tea. Whatever the gifts are, throw them out here. Let us see them. Thank you, little pearl, for the rose. Uh, Eddie, thank you. Uh, oh, we like that one. That's pretty cool, Eddie. Thank you, Eddie Ray. Cindy, oh, Cindy J13. Thank you for that, man. That just took me out of the world here. I think I just went off planet. That was crazy. Thank you. TGFI. Thank you, Dennis. I like that one, too. Chili. Oh, now I'm feeling really hot. Third Eye. Thank you for that, too. All these little beautiful gifts. You, you people are awesome, man. You know, we love you. You know? Third Eye. Thank you. Oh, that's something. Now I feel like Harrison Ford. For just a moment, I had a feeling like I was Harrison Ford. Dennis, thank you for that. 581U281, thanks for the roses. We appreciate that so much. Uh, Al, thank you for the finger heart. Wow, that's a good one. All these really cool things. By sure me, TGFI Friday. Dennis, uh, thank you for the tiny Dini. Dini? Am I pronouncing that right, maybe? Or wrong? So as you're gifting, I'm going to continue on here. And I want to have some guests on here. We had... Uh, God's Roth, Frank on here sharing some phenomenal things. And again, thank you, Frank. If you'd like to be a guest on the show, come out of the closet about where planet you're from and you remember where you're from. We want to hear that. Oh, thank you again. Oh, gosh almighty, thank you. Now I really feel like Raiders of the Lost Ark here, you know. <laughs> Terry, thank you for the earth. Uh, thank you for the uh, high bear, third eye. Thank you so much. Again, my love to every one of my people in the audience here. You guys are phenomenal. Susan, thank you for the rose. We have so much roses here. I'm going to have to get some water and put them in a vase, a cosmic vase at that. Okay. Uh, so we definitely want to hear some stories here. I love listening to people's cosmic stories, experiences. And that's what I do in my radio show. I, I talk and I listen. And a good talk show host listens to his guests, you know. And I'm about listening. You know, too many people on TikTok, I see this when I got on here, they have these debates, they fight each other over things. And, you know, that when they're not doing a talk show, they're just people coming on, they want to get all oh, this crazy stuff going on. Not here. This is a talk show. So we have a deep respect for our, our viewers. And, uh, you know, our moderators are great. Our moderators, moderators take out all the trolls out of here. We don't let trolls in here. People bash other people. Never will it happen here. I have the best moderators in the world here on Encounters. So um, welcome, everybody. Lisa Bailey, good to see you. J.J. Scott, welcome. And I can't believe there's nobody with a story to tell. I mean, I've read some of your stories here on comments. Is there anybody out there with a, a cosmic story they wish to come on here and tell about? There's a, hi. So there's got to be somebody. We have... 76 people. Nobody has a story to share on, on as a guest here. There's got to be somebody. And if you have close to a thousand, you can come on here. If you can't on the, you can't get on the, the screen. You can do audio. So we can. Uh, we'll see here. You know, I know there's people in here. Good morning. Good to have everybody in here. Lisa. Good morning. I'm looking right now. And. Uh, I'm trying to see, there's got to be some people that have a story to tell. I got a trans-dimensional type of story, but I'm at work, and it's a long one. Okay, when you're not at work, if you're on tonight, we'd love to hear that story, 581, your trans-dimensional story. That would be very fascinating. Um... So I want to keep the stories very much into the cosmic realm uh, on the show Encounters. I have a story, can I do audio? You might be able to do audio, Power Mac. Let me see here. Um, go to, well, you have 208 followers. I think TikTok is letting people go on with audio over 600. Um, press the guest request button. If you have one on there, press it, and we'll see if we can get you on there. I've had multiple experiences. Let's see here. 
And again, the folks with 100, 200 followers, I don't know if TikTok's going to let it happen. So they might. I know I had some people on with audio. They couldn't do the, the visual part of it. So if you see the guest button, press it if you're interested in joining our show here this morning, and we'll see if we can get people on here. I know that if you're over 600, 700 people, uh, Big Girl Storm, good to have you with us. We can possibly get you on here. I love to hear people's stories, man. That's what this talk show is about. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have plenty of things to share with you, and I will. Um, but I want to hear, thank you, 581. Thank you for the roses. I appreciate that. And um, James, James, if you're in here, you know, man, and you want to talk about some of your experiences, if anyone's never seen James, he's got some awesome things to talk about on many levels with the orbs. Uh, he was in the early stages of this show. He was one of my first initial guests. Uh, let's see here. And I think we have a guest. We'll see. Power Mac. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. I think TikTok changes so you can come on with the audio. Hey, Power Mac, good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're doing good. Can you, uh, let me bring him up the volume. Now we go. So, yeah, now you can get on here with audio, even if you don't have a thousand people. And when you get to a thousand, you'll be able to get visually on here on your camera. So, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning. And what would you like to share with us here this morning on Encounters? I'm not really sure how to explain it all, but I did notice when I've been standing in my backyard that I've noticed a lot of um, UFOs um, above me mm -hmm. um, in the sky, uh, not just one or two, um, multiple, like um, many, many UFOs. And how I've recognized them as UFOs is that I would see them frequently flying over in the same position every night as I was outside. And so I started, mm -hmm. I started to take pictures with my camera and the pictures that I was taking and the videos that I was recording was not those of an airplane. So as, as I started to zoom in on it, I could see the pictures of being like a uh, red at the bottom of the, of the UFO, I believe it is. And, yeah. um, and then it almost looks like a boat shape, like a, like the bottom yeah. of a pontoon boat. Uh, and, uh, mm. a, a good majority of it is red. And then, um, just the other night, I took several pictures. It almost looked like stars in the sky. However, I knew yeah. that they were flickering and flashing, so it caught my attention. And what I did was I started taking pictures, and when I would zoom in on my pictures, some of the UFOs appeared to have a different color on the bottom of it, almost like a fluorescent color. I would say some one was blue, and maybe one had like a yellow fluorescent color, and maybe one oh, had a, a pink one. And Wow. These particular UFOs, they sit in the sky in the same position as if they were a star. And um, they're flashing. Uh, most of the time I notice um, that there's about four or five that flash that have, um, they're very bright and it has like a red flash and a white flash together. And yeah, the, yeah. Fla the flash is alternating like really fast, the white and the red together. And mm -hmm. that definitely uh, signifies that it's not a star. Um, and so um, I do have some pretty good pictures. I'm trying to get better pictures each day. Um, yeah. They just sit in their position. So it's almost like they're just hovering right there in the sky as if it was a star. Yeah. And your document, and you know what? The interesting part of that is that some, that now when you're looking at the ones that are like a black red color, and they're they're going really crazy with their lights when you see them. Those ships are about fifty thousand miles outside of the Earth's atmosphere. Those are actually motherships that you're seeing. Oh, just wow. so you know. No. Yeah, you're seeing motherships. That's awesome. So I'm, 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 I know there's about five or six motherships, fifty thousand miles outside of. For people that know this, you're saying, "Where's he getting this information?" Trust me, I'm a cosmic book. I don't read websites. There's five or six motherships that have been there for, for a long, long time before before we were even here. The, the, but there's a reason why they're there. And you're actually taking photos of them and capturing them, which is really phenomenal. And when you talk about those different colors that you're getting, 
uh, like the pink and the purple and whatever, those are the vibrational patterns of those ships that you're seeing. Those are the vibrational patterns of those ships. Okay. Wow, that's nice to know because I've, I've noticed them everywhere. The sky has really been lit up a lot lately with just so many stars in, in the sky. I mean, I, when I go out on my back porch, they're just everywhere. And so yeah. I, just, I just begin to photograph them and take pictures of them. And, and uh, there's one in particular that I was telling you that kind of uh, – it goes across the same tree line. It's almost goes the same direction every night, like multiple times. Like I would say about every uh, six to seven minutes. Um, it's almost like it's circling the area in which I live. And yes. so I, catch, I catch some pretty good shots of it going across the sky at night. Yeah, see, and part of your mission, and I'm reading your energy, just so you, know, you might not know what your mission is. Part of your mission is to document these photos. And you're going to get increased abilities through that. Also, um, while I have you on here, I'm going to suggest that you download Dr. Stephen Greer's app. It's like $10. It's only one time. I have, I, uh, our, we have an Ashtar Command CE5 group. This w weekend is going to be kind of iffy with the weather, but next weekend we're going to do a live broadcast. If the weather's clear next Saturday night, we're going to plan this over the weekend for next weekend. On TikTok, we're going to go live with our CE5 group, and um, we're going to do a meditation. We teach people how to make contact visually with our space brothers. And uh, I would suggest if you have the chance, if you have an iPhone, uh, it would be an Apple app. You download it for $10. It's a C5 app from Stephen Greer. There'll be protocol information that you can learn everything about it. Get you, Take your time, read everything. It has tones that you use that are sent out uh, through a speaker, and they'll, they'll hear the tones in space. There's no limitation. And that factors in the ships. And so, you, if you have you ever used, uh, you know what CE5 is? I, I have heard of it on, on a previous talk show of yours, um, but I have not downloaded the app yet. Thank you for reminding me. Yes, you're going to want to do that. And then, if you have like one or two people that you trust that are not nervous or afraid or open minded, get together with those, those two people that you, people that you might or friends of yours that might be into you know, knowing a little bit more about this. Tell them what you want to do and download the app. And like I said, I would download it after you, after my show's over, so you don't forget. And just study it. Take time, no rush. Uh, there's all different levels in there to, to read. And and Stephen Greer shows you how to do this. And he's had contact directly uh, over the decades of his work for Disclosure. And some of the videos I've seen him on YouTube and on TikTok, he's actually had encounters physically face to face with space people. Well, he would have because he's been the, the one in the forefront of creating the app. And he started this out with bringing people together to make CE5 contact with extraterrestrial intelligence. Healing Tarot, uh, thank you for the gifts. You know, so he did this and uh, he made this app so that everyone in the world can do this, you know, and that's the beauty of it. I believe you can, you're definitely ahead of the ball game because you're, you're documenting these photos of these spaceships. And you know, I think, uh, if you get this app, it will help you. And I want to make sure that we are disclosure. This shows disclosure. My audience is disclosure. We're not going to wait for the DOD uh, dragging their feet. You know, now they have a website on UAPs or UFOs, and now they want to do something. You know, after 70 years of lying to the public, you are doing the disclosure work by taking photos. Everybody out here is doing the disclosure work by sharing their stories. This is what this show is about. And I appreciate you so much for you know, I can't wait till you are able to go on the screen to show us some of those photos. I'd love to see them. Yes, that would be wonderful. And actually, I did end up sharing some of my uh, photos with um, some of my brothers and sisters just last night and uh, a few friends of mine uh, just to show them that, hey, uh, pay attention to the sky. There's more going on up in the sky than we know about because it looks like stars if you're just, you know, not paying attention. But so hopefully they'll start to take some pictures of the stars as well so they can get pictures of the ships that's hanging, hovering around in the skies. Yeah. And one of the things I tell people is the cosmic truth will set you free. Now, the set you free had a, another meaning many, many moons ago. But I switched it over to the cosmic truth will set you free. Okay. Uh, and remember this. Let's put this. Everybody puts this into your consciousness. The cosmic truth will set you free. Okay? It will. 
I believe that. Thank you, Marinette, for blocking the tree person because the tree person made a comment. And uh, my moderators, again, folks, are the best on this show. We get rid of all the trolls, all the misinformation people, all the negative people. We throw them right out into the universe. So thanks again there. Uh, we have some great folks here moderating our uh, our TV program here, Encounters. And um, so have you had in your life any, let's say, in the dream state, because the dream is just as important as the reality state. Sometimes say the dream is the reality. Have you ever had any encounters or felt any visitations in your life growing up? Uh, I did. Uh, more, mine was more. I um, knew it. Uh, mine more is from like the Holy Spirit uh, visitations, um, just mm -hmm. telling me things about the future, and then those things um, come to fruition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you know, the Holy Spirit is essentially part of the whole cosmic experience. It has nothing to do with relig religion, although religion will talk about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a very high vibrational frequency. Essentially, it has nothing to do with being, uh, you know, going to temple or churches or whatever. It really is from a cosmic level that spirit, the Holy Spirit, is a high vibration of love. That is where, uh, if you have that encounter, that's really the most beautiful thing ever. Once people understand it, it has to do with cosmic enlightenment. And how was that experience when you had it? Um, well, I think the very first experience I had wasn't. Um you know, it, it kind of told me something in the future that um, I didn't want to come to pass. <laughs> and so I, I kind of mm -hmm. just held on to that as my as I grew up throughout the years, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah, now, that's a beautiful way to start. So you had positive encounters with the Holy Spirit, which I put into the category of a non religious thing, because really religion is um, religions have used the Holy Spirit thing. But it really comes, if you take the Holy Spirit out of the earth realm, the Holy Spirit is a very much a higher vibrational frequency uh, within that Christ consciousness. So you started off with a very beautiful experience. And uh, I said, well, once you start using the CE5 app, you're going to start connecting with your star family because you are connected to the star family somewhere out there beyond earth. And it's going to be a beautiful story once you start having that. And take your time with it because it's not a rush thing. You know, yeah. you're going to you're learning, you're growing, but you're ahead of the ball game now. So you have the ability to to get there. And don't any time your 3D mind says, well, you can't do that. I know you're not the kind of person that says, OK, I can't do that. You're going to do it because you are uh, taking these photos. Obviously, you're taking a step out of the norm and you're recording and documenting these things. So, you know, keep doing that. I think it's a very beautiful thing you're doing. Thank you. And another thing that it's shown me is um, it just showed me a lot of truth uh, that was going mm -hmm. on in our world today versus what I was uh, taught when I was younger. It just yeah. kind of um, brought me to an enlightenment that we're living in a false belief and that yeah. we've been trained to believe things that are not um, not true. And, and so well, I always say that, you know, we have we have a lot of diversions, TV shows that never talk about uh, people from other planets. So we're watching game shows. There's Good Morning America with their Disney Channel fluff. And then you have CNN and all these people. And the only time, the only time they talk about the UFOs or any of this stuff is because, you know, it's in Washington and they're doing this. And it's on for a brief moment. And then they go back to all this diversion of things, the normal things to keep us distracted. You know, so it, what's happening is people are waking up. And if you watch my show normally, you'll see people have come out of the closet. They'll remember what planet they come from. They say, I'm not from Earth, you know, and this is the beauty of it is people like yourself and all these other guests I've had with so many different experiences that are beautiful and some that are, you know, different that they've shared that it's amazing to see people coming forward and just being who they are, you know, and I think that's what that's what it is. We're going from a 3D world mentality to a cosmic galactic um consciousness so to speak yes it was nice to know that you know there's a, there are different worlds out there and it was sad to know that our our nasa and and other governmental departments have been lying to us about the existence of other um beings and in other realms mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well i want to thank you 
You've been a great guest. And uh, everyone follow her. Uh, Power Map, we want to get it to 1,000. So then the next time you're on here, you can show some of those great photos. Thank you for having me. Uh, thank you for being here. And I'm following you. I think I am. I should be. Um, and definitely, thanks so much. Power Mac, this is Commander Elion. We're going to be on till 1015, and then we're out of here. Uh, yes, and she was a great guest. Uh, you know, this is the beauty of what I like here. So many different people from all over the world sharing their stories about awakening, and they're all valid and they're all honored here. And that's why we're a talk show, and we're not here jumping on each other's cases and debating. We don't do that. And we won't do that. You know, we want people to share their stories. That's how we learn, right? So we'll take one more guest. I want to thank people all for the gifts they've had. We got to 20,000 likes, and that's great because I had no expectation of where we were going on that level. Uh, so certainly if you wish to be a guest and you'd like to come on here, I knew, I do know if, even if you have 1,000, I might be able to get you on here on the audio part without the visual part. So uh, press the guest button and see if it works. And if it gets in there and it works, I will put you on. So I'll take one more guest before 10.15. Before, uh, and uh, we'll have our last guest for the morning. We'll be on again tonight on Encounters, Friday night, uh, for the late night edition after 10.30 or 11 o'clock tonight. And our nighttime audience is very different from our daytime audience in some cases. Not difference in, in terms of what we talk about, but we never know on the nighttime where they're going to be coming from all over the world. So certainly we appreciate it. And also, any more last gifting items, if you want to do a gift right now, them know, them know, uh, them know my account on Commander Allion 2022. Uh, and if you go to that uh, Commander on the top screen here, you'll see it says Commander Allion. Press the button there. You'll see my link to do the Venmo. You can donate anything you want on that app. And just uh, if you have Venmo, uh, please do a um, donation. Jupiter, thank you for the roses. We appreciate that. Um, we appreciate everybody here, actually, all the new people finding out about us. We're normally on at night, but I am trying to do a morning show for those that to go to sleep early at night. Uh, we are trying to do both. Uh, but hopefully if you can get on at night, we're usually on for a one hour, an hour and a half show. Uh, so I appreciate everybody being here. And I'm going to show you, I'll show you one crystal here. I'm still trying. I'm so literate with the tech. Okay. Dog lover. Let's see here. Dog lover. We're going to try to get you on here. If you see me, just I press the button to invite you. You just have to accept the request, and we'll help you here. While we're waiting to see if Dog Lover can come on, I'm showing you a crystal. So I will show this crystal for about two or three minutes while we're waiting. Uh, and if you want to do a galaxy, I will show you this crystal. And I guarantee, oh, you're not ready yet? Okay, Dog Lover. When you're ready, I'm still following you, so follow me back. I'll show you this crystal. And you might see some very interesting things in it. Every crystal I have here in the space room that I've gotten over the last 20 years is very, very connected. Hello there, uh, God Talks with Pastor Mike. Good to have you with us, brother. Uh, all, all the crystals here are very ET activated. If you want to see one of these crystals, please throw out a galaxy or something, and I will show you one of these crystals right now. I've got it right in my hand here. I guarantee you're going to be blown away by it. I've got some very, very powerful crystals here. And um, matter of fact, where's the other one? I got a whole bunch. Oh, there we go. Thank you. It's coming out of the spaceship. Take a look at this. I'm going to go back here. Right here. This Tell me if you see something here. You should see something. For those that are very perceptive, tell me what you see here. Do you see anything? You should. Let me try to. It's hard with the green screen to do this. Let's see here. Yes.
I'm going to go slowly here. You might also see <clears throat> some other things. I see it glowing, yes. And you're seeing my, my, me, my face a little bit, but wait a minute. I'm going to go sideways here. There's something else here. Hopefully I can show it to you. Yes, there is something inside. Okay, right there. Right there. If you're really perceptive, you will see a tall human being with a body and a head right here. Anybody see that? Right here, the pencil angle it. Very tall human form. Now it's going to look at you a little bit longer there. Whoops. Whoa. Look at that. I mean, I just got blown away myself. I uh, I never saw that one before. Look at that. Holy mackerel, man. Oh, my God. I just, I've had this crystal for so many years, and I see things in it all the time. It's like a projector. This is, uh, I call it a projector. But if you look... You can see a person is a, a mouth, a face. Well, it's changing the images a bit. I'm going to go this way a little bit more. Now what do you see? Right here. Thank you for all the gifts, everybody. Hmm. I might be able to do it with this one. It's This is really powerful. These are very powerful crystals. I'm going to show you this one here. This is a Lemurian, a large Lemurian crystal I got over 20 years ago. The command told me which crystals to, to utilize. Yeah, I'm going to bring that one back. There is a perceptive person, dog lover. So we're going to show you, and you might see it. Let me see if you can see it. I probably have to show you this without the green screen. Um, let me see if I can do it this way. No, that's not going to work. Yeah, there is right there. Let me bring it right here. Okay. Right there. What do you see? They're projecting themselves through the crystal. So this crystal is a cosmic projector. I didn't, when I got it automatically, I was like, are you kidding me? You see the face? There's a person in there. See it? Anybody see the face? You know, folks, I can't make this stuff up. This is what it is. 
Yes. And if anybody wants to do another galaxy or a whale or something for the information I'm sharing, this is giving you information, folks. That's why I'm doing this. It's affecting you right now. I know it is. In a positive way, too. If you want to do one last galaxy before we go here. Thank you, everybody, for the gifts. Yowzer, Dennis. Dennis, thank you. Eddie, thank you so much. Oh, that's a nice, beautiful gift. I'm going to show you a little bit more of this. There's another crystal that I wish to share with you. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, oh, I know where it is, right here. Let me get the crystal right here before we end the show. This is going to blow you away. And we're going to see what you see here. As you see here, my thumb fits right in here. This is a actual activated technology. Look at this crystal and tell me what you see. Every one of these crystals, brothers and sisters, the command guided me to for the last 20 years. So I don't collect crystals. I, I'm guided to buy specific crystals, and these crystals are activated. This is an actual technology, and my thumb fits right in here. See it? Here's my thumb right in there. You can't, you can't make this stuff up, folks. My thumb perfectly fits right in this area. It's meant for me to hold it like this to be using as this technology is. I'll be getting off in just a few minutes here, but I want to stay on for just a few more minutes. And I love you all. I love every one of you. I'm trying to go closer. Do you see something? You should see something right here. Let go of all your thoughts and just look at it. Tell me what you see. What do you see? Can you guess? Yes. Yes, you have it right there. A spaceship. A spaceship. You, you, you guys are 100% correct. I can't make this stuff up. You know? I bless my brothers and sisters of the Astro Galactic Command for guiding me all these years at the crystal shows. When I go to the big crystal show every August, they take me to a booth in an area and say, Commander, this is the crystal. I say, okay, I don't question it. Look at the beauty of that ship. Yes. Going for a landing on Earth. This is just showing you, just get ready for contact when they come they will land and they come down come down and they will land on earth i'm going to turn a little bit here i can do this all day folks i've got to go i'm so much in this state of consciousness now i'd love to stay here all day and do this I really would. The ship is coming to your house. Good morning, Robert. We're going to send the ship over to Robert's house. The ship's getting bigger. It's actually taking over. It's nice to see the ship in a bigger way. Look at that. The ship is here on Encounters. Yes, I'll be on tonight. Yeah, Little Crow, this, the app is CE5. It's not. It's CE5. If you have an Apple phone, download it. Uh, you can download it. It's like $10. If you have an iPhone, if you have an Apple, if you have an iPhone, 
download it on Apple. I'm getting it confused here. If you have an Android phone, download it on Google Play. But the ship is coming, folks. These are the ships of light. And actually, it's not affecting my... Wow. Um, you're probably feeling the energy coming from this thing. So if you're feeling any energy coming here, you probably are. I can do this all day, man. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really at the point now where I could do this like this, but I know I have to go and be somewhere. So I love you all. You know, I love every one of you. Robert, Grace, everybody here, all the regular folks here. We love you. We love you. We love you. Do I have any for sale? No, I don't sell any crystals. Uh, I, I'm, give, I'm guided to buy the crystals from the command. They tell me where to go uh, every year at, at this big East Coast Gem and Mineral Show. I would suggest that you look online for the, uh, the um, Gem and Mineral Shows in your area. There's a big one in every part of the country. And if it's coming to your area, go to that, and that's where you'll find the crystal that is connected with you. If you're connected with the space people, they'll help you, and they'll guide you. Okay? So thank you, everybody. I mean, I could do this. I mean, if I was still able to be here for another hour, I probably would do some activation work here with people. <laughs> but, man, I'm telling you, my energy is so out there right now, i got to stop doing this. <laughs> I love you all here. This is definitely Encounters, uh, the early morning edition. We're usually on late night. Uh, I hope you all be well. Everybody, you know, don't let anybody get in your face with negativity. Uh, always bring love to the world. Bring love to each other. And most of all, love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, how are you going to love everybody else, you know? Because I see the other ship again. Yes, I'll show it to you one more time. This one right here, Power Mac. Here's the ship. Right here, you can see it. Right here. And people are right on, man. You folks were, you're, you folks are good. That you were able to know that this was a ship. You're definitely right on there. So really beautiful. All right, I've got to stop here. I want to thank everybody for the gifts to support what we're doing. We love you all. Um, and we hope you all uh, have a great day. I say you all. I'm in New England. I'm saying you all. <laughs> the other crystal, the first one, you're talking about this one here. This crystal here, uh, this, this is the one where people saw the angel. This is a really, this is a projector. I call it a projector because everybody sees things in it. And right, right there, you're in New England and you say that a lot, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's the angel. Look at that. You see the angel? Oh, there's a person. You see the person in there? There's a person in there where the bright light is. They're projecting other images. So when you keep looking at this, they're sending different images in here. This is like an intergalactic communicator. I kid you not. I can't make this stuff up. This is an intergalactic communicator. And it'll change. It's like going on different cable channels, but you don't have to change them. This will change automatically. Let me go one more thing here before I go. I don't know what we're going to see next here. Let's see. Let me see what we're going to see next here. I'm going to go sideways a little bit. Yeah, there's something right there. You see it? Ooh. I see two faces on the bottom part. Do you see them? You might see different things than I see. There's two faces beneath it. Right there. You got to love it, folks. <laughs> you got to love it. Um, I'm going to be too spaced out if I keep doing this. So I'm going to stop. Okay. I love you all. Everybody have a beautiful day. You have a great weekend. 
Join us tonight on Encounters, the spiritual UFO talk show, only here on TikTok, the show that everybody's talking about through social media. You won't see this on CNN, NBC, CBC, BBC, or NEC, but you'll see it right here. Everybody, be well. And again, thank you so much for being here with us. Take care, everybody. We'll be putting this on YouTube, so you'll be able to watch this show if you missed it on YouTube. If you can't make the nighttime show, that'll be also on YouTube within 24 hours. Take care, everybody. Have a good day, and keep on doing the light work you're doing. Uh, get the C5 app. Start making contact visually, because you can all do it. There's nothing you cannot do. You can all do that. Thank you, Power Mac. Uh, uh, I appreciate that. We'll catch you all later.